One question that seems to confuse a lot of new and even experienced photographers is, what happens to the focal length of a full frame lens when mounted onto a crop sensor camera? And how does this compare to a dedicated crop sensor lens with exactly the same focal length? So in this video, I'm going to show you. Here we have a full frame Sigma 105mm lens. And here is a crop sensor Sony 18-105mm to lens, which we will test at 105mm. Now before I show you the results of both these lenses on a crop sensor camera, I want you to comment below what lens you think will have the wider field of view. Right, let's check out the results. As you can see, both lenses have almost identical focal lengths on our crop sensor camera. That is if we was to remove the lens distortion. The reason for this is simple. The projected image which comes through the lens, represented here by the blue circle, hits our camera sensor, which is represented by the cream rectangle. Notice that the subject, in this case a stick man, is the same size on both sensors, but the larger sensor on a full frame camera captures more area around the stick man. The stick man is exactly the same size on the crop sensor, but is cropped closer due to the sensor size, not the projected information coming through the lens. If we swap lenses, the projected image on the crop sensor remains exactly the same, and the projected image on a full frame camera it's not enough to fill the whole sensor, thus we get vignette. So the focal length of the lens doesn't change, regardless if it's a full frame lens or a crop lens. It's simply down to the sensor size, which determines how much of the projected information coming through the lens is captured. Hope this helps you. If you've enjoyed this short video, hit like and why not watch this video whilst you're here. Thanks for watching everyone, we'll catch up soon.